chiral carbon i will teach you complete concept and examples of chiral carbon now what is chiral carbon well consider this organic compound here carbon is bonded to four different groups i mean carbon is bonded to bromine carbon is bonded to chlorine carbon is bonded to fluorine and carbon is bonded to hydrogen thus this carbon is called chiral carbon because it is bonded to four different groups remember that chiral carbon is always sp3 hybridized therefore we define chiral carbon as the carbon which is bonded to four different atoms or group of atoms is called chiral carbon or asymmetric carbon let me repeat it the carbon which is bonded to four different atoms or groups of atoms is called chiral carbon or asymmetric carbon thus this is chiral carbon because it is bonded to four different groups or four different atoms hence note down this basic concept of chiral carbon now we will learn how to find chiral carbon well we know that chiral carbon is bonded to four different groups now consider these organic molecules here note down this important trick whenever you see ch2 or ch3 cross them because they are not chiral carbon let me repeat it whenever you see ch2 or ch3 cross them because they are not chiral carbon now in the first case this is ch3 i cross it because it is not a chiral carbon this is ch2 i cross it because it is not a chiral carbon this is ch3 i cross it because it is not a chiral carbon now in case of this carbon we can see that it is bonded to bromine it is bonded to hydrogen it is bonded to this whole thing i mean ch3 ch2 and it is bonded to this methyl ch3 we can see that this carbon is bonded to four different groups hence it is a chiral carbon thus this organic molecule has one chiral carbon in the second case i write ch3 ch2 ch ch2 and ch3 according to the trick i cross this ch3 because it is not a chiral carbon i cross this ch2 i cross this ch2 and i also cross this ch3 because these all carbons are not chiral carbons now in case of this carbon we can see that this carbon is bonded to hydrogen secondly it is bonded to bromine now listen carefully at the left hand side this carbon is bonded to ch3 and ch2 at the right hand side we can see that this carbon is bonded to ch3 and ch2 we can see that both the groups at the left hand side and at the right hand sides are the same hence it is not a chiral carbon because this carbon is not bonded to four different groups thus this molecule has no chiral carbon in the third case i again write ch3 ch2 ch2 ch and ch3 according to the trick this ch3 is not a chiral carbon i cross it i cross this ch2 this ch2 and this ch3 because these all carbons are not chiral carbons now in case of this carbon we can see that it is bonded to chlorine secondly it is bonded to hydrogen now at the left hand side this carbon is bonded to this whole thing i mean ch3 ch2 and ch2 at the right hand side we can see that 
This carbon is bonded to methyl CH3. Now this carbon is bonded to four different groups, hence it is a chiral carbon. Thus using this method, we can easily find chiral carbon. Finally, we will learn one important concept, chiral carbon and its mirror image. Remember that the image of a chiral molecule is always non-superimposable image. Now what is superimposable image? And what is non-superimposable image? Well, consider this object H. I place mirror in front of it. I get this image. Now listen carefully. I take this object H and I also take its image H. If I place object and its image together, they are imposable on each other. Let me repeat it. If I place object and its image together, they are imposable on each other. Thus we call it superimposable image. On the other hand, consider this object. I place mirror in front of it. I get this image. Now listen carefully. I take this object and I also take its image. If I place object and its image together, they are non-superimposable. Let me repeat it. If I place object and its image together, they are non-superimposable. Thus we call it non-superimposable image. Now consider this chiral molecule. I place mirror in front of it. Firstly, I write here carbon and I write here hydrogen as it is. I write here chlorine as it is. We can see that this fluorine is nearer to the image. Hence, I write here fluorine. This bromine is away from the mirror. I write here bromine. We can see that the image of a chiral molecule is non-superimposable image. Therefore, we say that the image of chiral molecule is always non-superimposable image. Thus, note it down this important concept.